Hey love, so it's your girl April and today's video is of course going to be a makeup haul video. So this stuff is from different places like online, Sephora, Ulta, and online. And probably like some drugstore stuff too. So first things first, um, you guys have probably never ever seen me probably wear red before, like red clothing. I'm not like a huge fan of red, I don't really know why, but for some reason, I'm really feeling this red bodycon dress so i picked this up the other day at forever 21 in the plus size section of course and it was 12.90 and i absolutely love it like really really love it so of course i do have my waist trainer on but i will show you the look in an entire look look plus size look book fashion look video really really soon to come i have been requested to do more of those so i really do appreciate everyone taking the time to watch my last um released video for plus size so besides all that, still rocking my clippings because it's super hot outside. And yeah, let's just get into this video because it's probably going to end up being kind of long. There are no particular order. Um, so the first thing I have here is the Clean Color Baked Eyeshadow Palette. You can pick this up at Sister21.com. This is their color playlist and like I said, it's the Baked Color Eyeshadow Palette. So for one, it opens with a little latch. So you have to just keep that in mind because you'll probably be like, why can't I get this thing open? But there are loads of colors in this palette. I do like the casing of it, but for one, there are loads of different colors. Now, I'm not going to say you can wear these alone. You wouldn't be able to. But just from looking at them, they are somewhat... I would say somewhat pigmented. Um, you will need an eyeshadow base to wear these colors just to make them this more intense. So I would highly suggest wearing an eyeshadow base with them. But for those of you who like to just be able to spend less on cosmetics, then this is a really great palette. You can also wet your brushes and the brush, the colors will be a lot more intense, more pigmented. So what I would suggest with this palette is wearing a great eyeshadow base it can be like a light concealer and then wetting your brush you can get more color payoff with an actual wetter brush but yeah you get loads of color 28 colors in this palette and you can pick this up from sister 21 also from sister 21 um i did get some more of the la girl pro concealers now i do have two of the orange ones which are really great for those who have like darker complexion this really doesn't work out too well for me so this is not one of my faves but I do somewhat like the green one somewhat. I'm not like a huge fan of it. But the yellow is more or less my favorite. Um, you've seen me use that in plenty of videos. So I did stock up on two of these. And these have been around for like a minute. So this is really nothing special. But these also are available on Sister21.com. Now some of these items I was able to try out. So that's what took me so long this time in doing a makeup haul video. So the Laura Mercier glow palette and I think that's what it's called um, this one here is more or less cream colors you can do your cheeks your contouring as well as your highlight so the one that I use the most is the glow which is the highlight and I absolutely love this it does come with like a nice mirror right here and as well there are kind of like index cards to tell you step ones step twos how to glow, start with a warm sun kissed face, how to basically the instructions of how to do your makeup and it also gives you pictures as well. So that's really, really helpful. This is like an um, a limited edition thing. I think you can get this online but I'll post the information below. The contour is really very light. Um, for me, this is a bronzer veil, but I'll use it as a contour for those days that I really don't want like a lot of contouring. But I do love the glow color the most. Now this I have used many a times, many, many times, okay, which is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. You can smell this before you even take it out the box, and I absolutely adore this. I think it has a lot to do with the smell, but there are 18 colors in this palette, and I'm pretty sure you girls have seen loads of videos on YouTube regarding this gorgeous palette right here which you could pick up. I'm not really sure if you could get this in stores anymore because this was like a limited edition. But if you go online, you may be able to purchase it. I wouldn't say go to eBay. Some people are trying to sell this for like 
108 bucks, 200 bucks. I have seen these palettes go on eBay for like 180, which is ridiculous. That's kind of like taking advantage of the consumer. Um, of course, it does smell really good, and of course, the colors are rich. But there's other palettes out there that you can get that are just similar to this, or probably even better. But I'm like a huge Too Faced fan, so of course, I had to get this one right here. I think my favorite one is Pure, which I love. It's kind of like a peachy kind of kind of like peachy color and kind of has hints of gold in it but it's a gorgeous color the color payoff is really really great but the the smell the scent of it is really really strong it does smell really really like peaches so yes one of my favorites third Too Faced product which is one of my favorites and I love this is the dark chocolate Soleil matte bronzer in medium is it it's bronzer intense tan so I use this like almost every single day and oh my god this is like my holy grail for like contouring bronzing it is a matte bronzer and the color that i have is deep tan this i think is the darkest color in the collection unfortunately unfortunately they don't have a lot of shades for deeper skin tones but it does have like a slight smell to it because it is like supposed to be part of their dark chocolate but i love the packaging of any Too Faced product they have like the cutest packaging to me went back to pick up one of my favorites which is the Too Faced born this way foundation and i'm in the color honey this is one of my favorites like i absolutely love this foundation so it's 38 dollars and i get it from ulta and I just really, really adore this foundation. Normally, I will not splurge that much on foundation, but this one right here, it lasts me for throughout the entire day. I'm not going to say throughout the entire day because I would be lying because I have, like, oily skin, but it does last me a lot longer than normal products that I've used. So, yes, I've, I use this in, like, a majority of all of my videos. Um, today, I didn't put it on. I wanted something different, so I used my e.l.f. cream. Um foundation which is six bucks and I absolutely love that as well they are kind of like on the same color tone um family but this is a really great foundation because I have oily skin I try to make sure that my makeup lasts for the entire day a lot of products work for me and a lot of products don't but this one right here um Too Faced's um Too Faced Prime and Poreless um, facial primer this really really works well for me it's more like a silicone base this kind of reminds me a lot of Tarte's um, primer um, but just a little deeper shade this one is really good it goes on smooth like butter oh my god like butter but it does remind me of Tarte they're probably in the same price bracket I like Tarte's um, as well and I may pick that up soon theirs comes in more or less like a jar but this one here is really great for those who have like oily skin um, you get flawless skin smooth skin and this does really help your um, foundation go on like smooth one of the other items that I've been obsessing over and I use this in like all of my videos is the Too Faced extreme lip injection this is like my favorite now I did not put that one today because I didn't want to try the product out on my lips that I have on now with this I wanted to see how it went on how it glided on how it felt on just my bare lips but yes this does plump up my lips it's not going to they're not going to be plumped for the duration of the day but this is a great plumping lip gloss you'll just let it sit on your lips for like a few minutes you will feel it tingling and once you feel it tingling you could just dap it off and then you can apply your lip liner lip gloss whatever you want to put on you can apply that normally i'll apply it twice i'll let it tingle and then i'll go back to it but i really really do like this this is the extreme there is the regular but i use the extreme because if you're going to go plump, you might as well just go all out, right? On to my drugstore, I did get the Remmel. Um, this is the Remmel London Coral Glow Contour Sculpting Palette. So this is really inexpensive. You can get this from Walgreens. And it comes with three shades. One is for your cheeks as a blush. Then there's the contour and then there's the highlight. Now, don't sleep on Remmel London. This highlight is everything. Like when I say it's everything girls this highlight is truly truly everything i'm gonna just turn the color down a little bit okay, so that's better so like i was saying this color is like everything the colors especially the highlight is so daggone glowing like you will glow with this highlight so i do have that on like my face today for like you can get this probably for like four bucks and walgreens is always having a sale and on the back it does show you how to apply your makeup as well as YouTube can do that too. 
so I had to try this out, which is the Too Faced 24-hour shadow, shadow insurance. So I don't use this alone. I'll put this on prior to putting like a thicker eyeshadow base on. This is really great though because it does help with the creasage. Um, the price point may be a little bit too high because sometimes it does seem like you have to constantly, constantly like shake it. Because if you don't, you'll notice that it comes out kind of like separated. The product kind of separates. So with that, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably give this like a 6 because I don't like the separation. I'll use this and then I'll put on my concealer over my eyelids like a liquid concealer. And I'll just use the liquid concealer as my eyeshadow base. Um, sometimes I don't use like an actual eyeshadow base like NYX or MAC. Uh, lighter concealer will work just fine as well and I'll just allow it to dry but yeah for the price point I think this could be a little bit cheaper and I think the product could be a little bit better now as you've seen in a recent video I did use a lot of the unique products um, if you're not familiar with unique they do make the 3d fiber lashes and they do have their mood struck eyeshadow palette out which is called addiction now this palette comes with seven eyeshadows and a cute little mirror so it's magnetic and it's super easy to travel with so if you want to go away you can travel with this easily stick it in your purse the shadows are really rich most of them are um some of them i'm not like a huge fan of i really do wish that the colors were a little bit more uh, more warmer tones but this basically is probably the cool tone palette um and i like a lot more warmer tones when it comes to eye looks but for the most part i did do somewhat of an eyeshadow look with it i did use the color tickled and cheeky and irate now for the black one it's not really intense it's not as intense and it may look like so on camera but it's kind of chalky when you rub your finger across it you don't get like a full you know color swatch so the colors could be a little bit more better to me in my opinion i think the colors could be a lot better especially for the price of this palette i did get the unique um precision liquid eyeliner pens now am i a fan of eyeliner pens or markers i love them they are like obsessive i'm obsessed with them they make eyelining just so simple but with these the colors are not that great so precarious is more or less like a dark blue a navy blue and it really doesn't come out as a navy blue you have to use this several coats just to get the color payoff that you want and that's one thing that I don't like so when I did my video with this I actually had to end up going over it um, with like a black eyeliner now this is the black which is called perfect the black is not as dark as most I really like my eyeliner to be a lot darker especially for black the payoff is not that great but the wetness, the feel of it, it does come out with a lot of product, but the product is not dark enough. So, you know what I mean? So for the price of these, I would think, honestly, I think like drugstore eyeliner is a lot better than the Unique brand eyeliner. Also, I did get their Bon Bon lip balms. And these are basically, they're not going to stain your lips, so they don't give you any type of color. They're just going to give you like a little gloss, a light, a very light color. So with these, I love the packaging. The packaging is so unique. All you would do is basically screw the lipstick back on. I think these colors are really great, or this particular product is really great for like tweens, like 12 and 13 if you want your kids to wear makeup or you're allowing to wear makeup, then I think these products are really good. But, but for those... Or just a day when you're running out, you really don't want a lot of makeup, you just want your lips to have like a slight tint, then this is great for that. But if you're looking for like a full lip, then you're not going to get this with their bonbons. But I do think the whole concept, the packaging is absolutely adorable. I did get this one here, which is in Red Velvet Cake. And this is more or less like a very light pink color. And then Raspberry Cheesecake is this one here, which to me, it looks like, like a pinkish color. It's like a pinkish color. Um, and I did use this um, in my video, my recent makeup video, but I did have to actually put it over top of a lip color. The one thing that I do have from Unique, which is one of my favorites, I do have their 3D Fiber Lash Mascara, but I didn't even bring it, but is their rose water. So I use this every morning after I cleanse my face. I spritz this on my face. It kind of gives me like this moisture. It's not like a greasy feeling, but it feels really moist. My skin doesn't feel dry and tight after using like my astringent. This really, really does work great. This is the one thing that I really do like. And I've used many different rose waters before, and I've never had one that actually gave my face like this nice, soft, moisturized feeling. So if that was one of the products that I would choose the most it would be their rose water by unique it's like awesome love it 
couple things from Ulta. Well, one thing. This is the Essence Big Get Big Lashes Triple Back, um, tri Triple Black Mascara. This is really like a good mascara. I think this is like $2.99, what have you. It has a nice size wand, and it is really, really dark. So when I want those intense lashes, especially for the bottoms, I will definitely use this. Normally, I'll use like my Too Faced, but this one I will definitely, definitely use. It's really inexpensive. Um, there are a lot of different mascaras out and a lot of them portray the fact that you'll get these full lashes but you have to keep in mind that these models are wearing false falsies in like every last advertisement but if you do want something that's really dark and will intensify your lashes i would highly suggest trying the essence brand out at ulta um one of my beauty supply store finds was this la color glitter eyeliner in the color sequin I got this for 99 cents, okay? 99 cents. Really cute precision brush at the end. And of course, it's LA Colors. 99 cents. What do you expect for 99 cents? You will have to use like several coats of this on your, li your lines, your eyes. Oh my God. But here's the trick. Don't think that you're just going to apply this alone. You will need an eyeliner base underneath this like a blue. That way, when you're putting this on, It'll just be more noticeable. The color will really pop. If you're thinking of using this by itself, it's not going to work. From Bonet's um, line, and I did do a video on there. They have like the matte lipsticks that are like really, really matte. But they stay on like forever. These lip glosses or these matte liquid lipsticks stay on like, oh my God, forever. Like they are so hard to get off. So I have Mon Cherie, which is more or less kind of like a... Ah, I don't know what color to describe this as, but it's a very pretty color. Now, if you're wondering and ask me, is it dry? They don't dry your lips out, but if you want something that's going to stay on throughout the entire day, the knees are going to work. Like, by all means, these are definitely going to work. Really great packaging. They have their name, Matte Lip Color. And, oh my God, these last all day long. Like, I could not get one of them off at all and then this is french merlot too and this color is more or less like um to me like a kind of between a pink and a mauve color but it's a very pretty color and that one is right here i have like all of their uh liquid lipsticks which i absolutely adore i think my favorite one is perfection there's perfection and there's perfection too and i think those are like my faves this is like my favorite part of the makeup haul this is i have been like waiting for this forever like forever and this is color pop okay so yes i am so in love with their packaging first time ever since they have had their second anniversary that i've ever 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 gotten color pop so I am like super excited about this. I got it yesterday in the mail and already. So if you're wondering what's on my lips today, this is actually the ColourPop. Okay, now for one, I I just cannot say enough about their their products are like amazing. I was so I couldn't wait to wake up this morning and do my face. When I got the makeup yesterday, I didn't I had a bare face. I wasn't in the mood to do makeup. I was just lounging around so I was I just watched everything yesterday and oh my god the feel and the texture of their makeup is like heaven like oh my god when you run your face it just feels so soft and cushiony like velvet like silk I really can't describe what it feels like but it feels amazing freaking amazing so I do have on the ultra matte lip and this color that I have on is called instigator gorgeous 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 so it does look like this peachy color right here which is absolutely stunning okay and these last all day when i did the swatches on my hand i could not get the stuff off i was just like omg this stuff is amazing yes do you guys see that like it just transfers so well on camera as well this stuff is like so inexpensive and so I already went and bought some more stuff. I'm like addicted. I don't know what I was waiting for, but let me tell you guys. If you have never tried ColourPop, check them out. This is six bucks. You can get liquid lipsticks like from MAC or even like the Bonet ones. They're $18, $20. They're $18 for one. These are $6 and honestly, I think these are even better because they just 
they form better they apply better to your lips so to compare them to Bonet's, I think that ColourPop's is way, way, way better, especially for the price point. But the way they glide on and the way you can apply them, freaking amazing. Freaking amazing. There too. And even their packaging is like so cute and chic. Like I said, six bucks. You can't get great, great liquid lipstick that's matte and it stays on all day for six bucks like seriously so this one here is like gorgeous like OMG okay mm. then I have Koala which is also another ultra matte lip very pretty bright color hopefully you guys can see that um, I'm going to swatch it so you can this is more or less like a really pretty bright lavender color oh wow like oh. Look at that. Gorgeous. Like, simply gorgeous. The one that I have on my lips, though, OMG. Mm. Ultra, ultra Satin Lip. Now, this one is probably kind of similar to Instigator a little bit. Same color payoff. It's not matte, but it does last for the entire day. Well, it's not the same color, but it's damn sure is gorgeous. Look at that. Like gorgeous freaking gorgeous and um this one here is called doughy when you go on their website and you look at each eyeshadow or lipstick whatever what's so cool about their website is they'll have three arms you know for different shades so you'll have like a brown girl a caucasian maybe like just different shades different sh skin shades and they'll have all the colors on their skin shades each person will have the same color so you can actually see how it looks on each skin tone which is like such a genius idea whoever thought about that they did and wish other companies would do, would do something like that so you can see how the shade would appear on like your own skin tone that was just like a really amazing idea but doughy is a very pretty color I love this I just like love their stuff little stitches is also a ultra satin lip and you girls know I love like these nude lip colors I absolutely love these nude colors the application that goes on is just so smooth and buttery and just like oh wow gorgeous 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 and normally I would not wear like this lip color but with them I think my my whole entire makeup collection is going to be nothing but um, color pop because they have like everything like and it's super duper inexpensive like wow um, Echo Park another ultra satin lip and that one is right here so cute you girls know I love these colors that are like nudish and very light favorite colors now let's get on to the eyeshadow so like I was saying their eyeshadows are like oh God, the feel now with theirs like I said they're kind of hard to come off and I'm just gonna try to get off as much as I can so I got eight eyeshadows um, and eight bronzers or cheekies or highlighters so I'm gonna start with the eyeshadows now the packaging is super cute you need to make sure to keep these super tight because of their product and how it's created so for one when I got these I was trying to pull them off and then when I figured out that you had to unscrew them I was like okay this is like even cuter so this is the super shock eyeshadow and this is flutes and this is a matte color and do you see how pretty that is gorgeous and it feels like butter like whipped butter or whipped cream and hopefully you guys can see this on me because of my complexion so I'm gonna just put that on the inner side of my palm because that's the lightest portion of me if I put it on my outside you're not gonna be able to see it in the back of my hand so there that is this is like a great transition color awesome transition color I love colors like this for transition or even just like a nude look this is also like perfect for that as well this one right here is a pressed pigment and it does have like the same type of texture and this is called glow stick and this is a yellow color do you see that gorgeous now this one is my favorite like when I swatched this I was like what the heck 
to um telepathy and this is an ultra metallic shadow first of all do so you guys see that Whew. now wait until you see the swatch of it o m g That is like the best metallic color I have ever seen. And you really can't see it on camera like that as well. But in person, you'll be so amazed with this. Telepathy is like one of my favorites. It's an ultra metallic shadow. And they don't have a lot of ultra metallics in the collection. But trust me, for $5, these are actually $5, you get a lot of product. You get a great product. Um... The payoff is like amazing. The feel is like gorgeous. Like um, um, Beverly, and this is a matte one. It's just as gorge. This is more like to me like a wine color. But for like I said, each person's skin tone it does show up a lot different, and that's what's really cool about ColourPop. You'll be able to see your skin shade and be able to to see how it will appear on your own skin tone. I think this was called a try. This is a satin color. Also, another great kind of color to put in your crease. So pretty. I just love the feel of it. You ever see the commercials? Uh, cotton commercial. They always say, the look, the feel of cotton. This is how I'm feeling right now with, with ColourPop stuff. This one is Bill, and this is a matte color. And I actually have this on my eyelids today. And it's more or less like a very kind of it kind of reminds me of like a taupe and a pink and a mauve mixed together really pretty color look at that isn't that gorgeous really really pretty animal which is unfortunately sold out right now but you know what the way they stock their stuff i'm pretty sure to go back in stock this is another pressed pigment very bright and vibrant it's like a very pretty kind of corally coral peach kind of color peachy corally kind of color because it was their second anniversary so kudos to them for being around for two years with such great products i did get birthday boy so everyone that was able to purchase anything online at the time of their birthday celebration got a free eyeshadow which was birthday boy so the packaging is slightly different it does have like a little tiara on the actual thing here and of course the color is different it's a metallic color and you can see like iridescence of purple in it this is just like a really pretty color really pretty oh, if I didn't have so many tattoos it would be a lot easier for me to do swatches bronzers and highlighters oh my god I have one that's my fave thank goodness that I got it when I did because they don't have it now it's sold out and oh my god this highlighter is freaking amazing oh before i even get into that i did get some of their eyebrow gel eyebrow um colors and i got arched um auburn and i also got banging brunette now i did use them both today i did use them on my brows today and the color payoff is really really great i think these are six dollars these are like six bucks and what's so cool about these they do come in these little small jars but let me tell you, they work just as well as Anastasia's um, brow pomade, brow dip pomade, which is very similar in consistency. And that's the one that I always use, which seems to dry out. These are so smooth and go on so creamy, and then they dry and your brows are like banging. So I do like these a lot. For six bucks, this is a lot better. Um, so if you are into the Anastasia dip brow, you should try the ColourPop one because theirs is just as good and a lot cheaper so let's get into this highlighter so this is the one that i'm raving about right now which is called monster now if you see it, it just looks kind of like whitish to you and when you kind of tilt it it's like one of those kind of like as a kid you have those papers you, you can move them and you'll see different things but then when you swatch it you get like this pinkish color oh my god i really can't explain it but Look at that highlight. And if you could be right here, you would see like the reflections of this pink fluorescent color. This is gorgeous. Freaking gorgeous. 
Their highlighters and bronzers and blushes are all $8, and it's the same exact packaging. And right here is um, Poolside, which is a satin finish, and this is more or less a color that's kind of very close to my skin tone. You probably can't see that, so we'll just put this right here. And it kind of looks like the eyeshadow that I have on the palm of my hand. So that's it right here. And this is Poolside. It's called Flushed, and this is a matte color. So pretty. Uh, Most Necessary, which is also a pearlized. It's like a very pretty, like, rose gold color. That's it right here. Between the Sheets, which is also a matte color. Really pretty color. And it just feels so good. Gorgeous. This is like gorgeous. I'm going to put this on my lips because it's so, it's so pretty. Prenup, which is a satin finish. And it's another pink color. And that's the one right here on the ends. A Bronze Me. And this is in a matte color. And that's that brown right there. This is a great color for contouring, too. Like, seriously. I used it for contouring. You can use it for a transition color for your eyes. And the last item from ColourPop is Happy Hour, which is also a matte color. And it's like a brown. I think this is the one that I used today. I can't even remember. I was picking up, like, all of them. And that is the very last one right here. So, yes, I am, like... Obsessed with ColourPop right about now. Super obsessed with their makeup. Like, if I had to choose, I would have everything ColourPop, ColourPop, ColourPop. They have, like, some really, really awesome makeup. So, yes. So, on to the last, which is another fave of mine, which is Morphe. They have, like, the best brushes. This time around, I didn't get any brushes. But I did get um, one of their newer eyeshadow palettes and, I think, one of the older yeah, ones. Yeah, I have here the 35... F and the 35T. So for one, they always have like the best packaging, meaning they have your stuff bubble wrap, so you don't have to worry about it falling apart, breaking apart. So this one here is the 35T palette. Um, very neutral and kind of like dark. And some of them do probably remind you of the next. However, they are very metallic. Um, the color payoff for Morphe is really, really a great color. And let me show you. I'm just going to put that on my entire arm. So, as you can see right here, really great color payoff. Metallic color, shimmer, all satin, whatever you want to call it. Really great color payoff with theirs. Um, the prices are super affordable. So, that's one really good thing about Morphe. You can get, like, a lot of different looks from these palettes right here. And, like I said, they're really affordable. And they do have fast shipping as well. The 35F are more deeper colors, more purples and wines, and like the neutrals are at the bottom. So this is like, a, I think this one is my favorite. Really pretty, like gorgeous. Very soft, very, very soft. So when you're rubbing it, you don't have to worry about, oh my God, is it powdery? The consistency, the texture is really soft, but the payoff is like super, super duper intense. So, yeah. And there that goes. So I think you get like 35, I guess that's why it's called 35. You get 35 shadows and $22. They always have something on sale. The one that they have that is never in stock is like, I think it has like more oranges in it. I've been trying to get that one for the longest. I don't know if I'm going to give up yet, but we'll see. We shall see. Okay, and the last product in my makeup haul is from the House of Uni. They have, like, the cutest packaging. They have their business collard card and so forth. This is the Calypso collection. And the color that I have is called Bashment. But first of all, look at their packaging. This is, like, so adorable. Like, super adorable. Do you see this? Like, a gold lipstick with, like, Belgium, um, with detailing on the side. Gorgeous. But the color is like outstanding, okay? This is like a really bright pink. 
and I'm not sure if it's matte because it does not say I don't think it is it's more or less kind of like a satin finish but this color is like gorgeous I think I'm more impressed with the actual packaging than anything really really impressive house of uni is like gorgeous packaging this looks like some really really high-end packaging but the color does go on really smooth color payoff is like extremely gorgeous and it does pack a punch like this will last you for a few hours all I would suggest is just like put it on a lip liner or a lip primer depending on what your preference is. But I'm super excited about this one because of the packaging is just adorable. This looks like some really, really expensive packaging and the color payoff is like really great. So House of Uni, you can check them out. So I think I have wasted enough of you girls' time in this long, long makeup haul. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it wasn't too long. And as always, stay diva and delicious and I'll see you girls and guys on my next video.